The Office is a UK show that has been adapted at least 15 times. Each remake follows a similar narrative as the original, with only the locations and the characters' names changed. The only character from the main cast of the US Office not to have a UK-inspired counterpart is Andy Bernard. This is because Andy was introduced in Season 3 of the US Office and the UK Office only ran for two seasons. But I believe Andy does have a counterpart, it's David Brent. Sure, Michael might seem similar to David in Season 1, but as the US Office goes on, Michael becomes less of an annoyance to the employees of Dunder Mifflin, while Andy on the other hand fills that role annoying everyone, even Michael. No. I don't want to do any of that. No. Just stop. Stop. Just stop doing it. You're going to drive me crazy. When Michael leaves at the end of Season 7, Andy is promoted to manager. So if we look at the last two seasons without Michael as its own series, then both the UK and the US office ran for two seasons. And the story arcs of Andy and David line up much better than that of Michael and David. Both season 8 of the US office and the pilot of the UK office start with a bumbling, spineless manager that isn't very good at his job and doesn't get respect from his employees. Both series end with the manager getting fired for incompetence, and when this happens, both of them go off to try to become famous off the small amount of fame they got from the documentary within the show. Andy gets an agent and tries to become an actor, while David gets gigs at bars performing as a Z-list celebrity, and in the movie, David Brent, Life on the Road. David travels up and down the country, living his dream being a rock star. While in the US office, Andy tries to be on a reality show called America's Next El Capella Sensation. David's position being replaced by Garth, the assistant to the regional manager, and Andy by Garth's American counterpart, Dwight. And when Andy's fired for the first time in season 8, he goes back to visit the office the same way David does in the UK office. Michael's arc is completely different. He quits, moves far away, gets married, and has children, while getting a job at a movie ticket factory, getting a happy ending. Steve Carell even said that he didn't watch the UK office before auditioning because he wanted to do an original character different from how Ricky Gervais did David. Michael Scott is into making movies and magic tricks, while David Brent is more into playing guitar, a skill shared with him and Andy. Also, Michael Scott might be an idiot, but he's an amazing salesman. That's how he's able to keep his job at Dunder Mifflin for so long, while David and Andy are terrible at it. More than any other character, Michael Scott feels like a totally different character from his counterpart. If you need a little more proof that Andy was always meant to be David Brent's counterpart, all you have to do is look at their names. The counterparts always have similar namesakes. Kevin is Keith, Oswald is Oscar, and David Brent is the man with two first names, just like Andy Bernard.